welcome back, you bloody legends. Let's get on with my 100% walkthrough for Elden Ring. This is part 78, and we have got a whole ton of money burning through our pocket. Let's spend some. Uh, we need to level up. Uh, can I get two levels? I think we can. And we want one point in dexterity to get dexterity to 30 if you are following along. And then I want to start upping our intelligence again. So I want to get that up. We're going to be putting a lot of points into that now. We're going to get de uh, intelligence up to 60. Um, especially 52 as well. But um, 60. We'll go all the way to 60 with intelligence from now on. Uh, wait a minute. No. Yeah, okay. So we need another 40,000 for our next level. Okay, good to know. With that done, we are going to be heading north. Now, we still don't have the map for this area, and we're not going to get it for a while. Oh, pardon me. Um, so, I'll try and, instead of using the map, because if I open that up and say, oh, we're going up here, it, it's really not helpful. Um, I'll just try and use things in the environment to help guide us. But for now, we're heading north, or, yeah, north up the uh, river. It's a pretty simple path to follow. Uh, because we're in a big, um, what would you call it, a canyon or something. And we're going to keep going north until we find a golden seed. Jeez, I feel like I haven't seen many of these glowing skulls lately, but there's one. And there's another one. And I'm picking up some, uh, what is it? Well, what's that? That's a normal skull. Volcanic stone. I can't even remember if we ever use it for anything, but uh, I'm going to pick it up anyway. You guys know that by now. And we're going to get past this uh, volcanic eruption type thingamajiggy. And past this one as well. And when we get to the top of this rock, we can see the golden seed. Let's go grab that. There we go. I'm just going to check again how many we have. We need one more. So we've got three. We need four for our next upgrade. And then we are... We've only got two... I think it's two more. Two or three more upgrades to go. Anyway. Um, now, from the Golden Seed, we're going to continue north. And we're going to find ourselves a Smithing Stone 5. So just keep going north. And you'll see it right there. It's not far from where we got the golden seed. I'm just using the rocks to get past the uh, volcano thingamajigs. Okay, and continuing north this... Wait, are we going... I've got to remember. Let me get my bearings here. We're going to go north, so not following the river. We're going to go north, up the hill here. Oh, that's right. Yep. Okay, and we're going to hop off our horse and make sure we've got our pebble ready. And we've got some, uh, some of these lizard things. Three pebbles each, especially since they've seen me. Uh-uh. No, you don't. Okay. Now... We've got sort of north again. We've got these three bits of loot. And then there's going to be more of those lizards. Um, just uh, grab these first. And then you'll see some loot up to the north even further. But if we go over there, there's some, some of those lizards are going to jump out at us. And it's really not worth it, but we're going to do it anyway. I think it's some... Um, yeah, there we go. So up on this rock... Uh-oh. 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 No, wait. Wait, I'm not ready. Ah, I got him. Um, I was, yeah, just trying to say... I actually was just testing that to see if they would spawn if we went up on this rock. Um, I wasn't going to say, hey, let's go up on this rock and that'll make them blah, 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 when I didn't actually... Didn't actually... No, I didn't practice that part. But that worked out well. So, yeah, if you haven't already done this part, just go up on the rock. Definitely made that easier. Uh, there we go. We've got all the lizards, and now we're just heading back down the hill, and we're going to go around to the right, uh, staying on this top level here, and I forgot about this guy. Is he in my notes? Oh, yeah. Guard outside. 
Uh, I'll come back for that. We're just gonna sneak up on this dude and backstab. Good night. And oh, what'd you drop? A smoldering butterfly. Whoop de doo. And let's get this. Oh, why have I got? Oh, I thought I had my shield in my hand. Why have we got? Oh, we still got the poison spell equipped. Okay, we'll uh, we'll unequip that at this side of grace because we're gonna go in here. We're gonna use. A stone sword key. Yep, yep, yep. Or two. Two stone, stone sword keys here. My notes didn't tell me that part. Put our lantern on and head inside. Alright, rest at the side of Grace so that we can uh, fix our spell situation. Or just stand right in the fire. Either, either. Uh, do, do, do spells. I'm going to get rid of that one. Hmm. Wonder, wonder if I could have killed those lizards easier. Um, yeah, we need 52 intelligence for the comet spell. I do like the comet spell. Um, although, it's really not much better than... Um, Great Glintstone Shard, and it uses more FP, so I have been playing around with not using Comet, but we'll see. Uh, we got rid of that. Now, if you've got some... If we go into our pouch here, and I'm going to go into, yeah, neutralizing boluses. There's going to be poison inside this cave, so just have some of those ready to use. I've only got four, so I'm going to uh, craft a few more. Uh, we are running low on Herba. That's interesting. Low-ish. I'm just going to craft six, so I've got ten on hand. Not that we, we shouldn't need that many, but uh, always good to have some spares. And then I want my I want my shield. I don't want the claw mark seal equipped right now. And which sword do we need? Oops. I'm um, just checking my notes, guys. All right, there's two normal guards as we head down through here. Hang on, is it down here? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't... My, it must be this way. This is the only way, right? Oh, yeah. I know where I am. All right, crouch back down. There's going to be two guards in here. Off to our right. This guy here. Is he going to turn? Oh, he's turning this way. That's fine. Come here. Come here, mate. Guard counter for you. And finish him off. And he's got a friend around the corner who may come running if he heard that. I think we backed up far enough. And we're going to run in there and just do a charge attack. Let's go. Ba-boom! Lord Sawn's straight sword. whoop de doo Alright, we'll grab some budding cave moss. And then we head back out. Okay, grab this stuff on the way. There's only one way. Oops, wrong button. Captain Fumblefingers, let me do the controlling. Uh, we're going to drop down here. And when we make the final drop, we're going to be... Oh, I nearly went too far then. We're going to be in poison. And we are going to run. The only way, I can't remember which way we're going to run. Dang it, I didn't write that down. Either way, we're going to run. Wherever you see the opening. And you're going to find yourself an island. There we are, and we're gonna look over to, oh, oh wait, we're gonna uh, use a charge attack on this thing. Twice, twice. Get Pebble ready, look over to the southwest, and hopefully he hasn't gone too far away, and deal with this guy. There we go. So mushroom head, blob I forgot about. Nearly landed on my head. They suck when they land on your head. Almost literally, but yeah, we had to run to this island so we didn't take on too much poison. That's where we came from. Uh, we are going to run over there and grab this loot. We're going to avoid... Oh, I did not mean to roll. That was Captain Fumblefingers again. That's going to cause my poison build-up. Let's uh, hit this guy with some pebbles. And this guy... Maybe I didn't roll in the poison then. I think I got away with that. Uh, then we got doo, 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 the south cave, but watch out for the blob as you go. 
Hang on, there's two though. Which one? I think it's that one. I think it's the south, sort of southwest. More south though. All right, we're gonna run in here. Avoid that blob. Oh, it got me on the head. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm out. Am I out? I think I'm out. And we'll give it some uh, charge attacks. And then I'm gonna heal. And we're all okay. And I'm gonna get you with some more. And refill my FP. And we are good there. Uh, da -da 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 all right, South Cave. Watch for the blob falling on your head. See, I put that in my notes, but I really didn't uh, didn't read that well enough. All right, now we've got some rats and a giant rat. Using pebble still because we're in the cave. You Otherwise, I would suggest um, rock sling. All right, so first we'll have some normal rats. You. Oh no, this is all the rats, I remember. Big rats here too. And little rat. Then there's gonna be some more little rats in the, oh, that's a different cave. I'm thinking of a different cave, guys. Anyway, we came all that way for a golden room, which was a random drop and a lump of flesh. But you know, I like to clear everything out and get as much as we can. So that's what we did. And now we're going back. And when we go to this next tunnel, what we're gonna do is get our mist. We're gonna run in there. We're gonna unleash some mist and then we're gonna run back out and see what happens, all right? That's the plan. And the reason for that is there's gonna be a group of those mushroom heads. You may have already seen them. Wait, that's not it. That's not it. Wait, I'm, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Get out of the poison for a sec while I read my notes. What did I do wrong then? Ah! Oh. oh, it's not the mist bit yet, guys. Sorry, I read the wrong line in my notes. Oh God, I went around that corner. I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. All right, uh, do I have too much poison? No, we're gonna run out, run around there again this time. And then we're gonna get to where we're not in the poison and we're just gonna use pebble on a bunch of those mushroom heads. And there's gonna be some mushroom heads on a higher level as well. So get in this location. See if we can reach them from here. Excellent. The other guys are going to be coming around. We'll get them as they come around from here because I'm not in the poison. I'm going to fill up my FP. I think there's at least one or two more there. And watch up and to the left. There will be some more up there that we don't want to deal with just yet. Get out of the poison. Is he coming? There he is. He's just slow. All right. Two pebbles for you. All right. I think that... Oh, no. There's another one. And before we run out, make sure you've got FP ready in case you're uh, empty -er and get this guy. And he may have a friend, but I just want to get out of the poison real quick. I can't remember. I thought there was going to be two up there. Um, hang on. All right. I think there's another one up there somewhere. So let's just run to here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Do not roll, whatever you do. Oh, I just rolled. I told myself not to roll, and I think I got away with it though. Preserving boluses, they'll come in handy when we go back to the rot. Uh, and we got the loot on the left, that was what I just got. Uh, we need to go to the southwest tunnel from the middle though. So if we head back to this middle area, turn to the southwest, and go through here and then we're gonna drop down to the west. I need to explain this before we do it. And then go to the southwest tunnel again and there'll be rats, but we should be out of poison by then. That's the plan. Poison is low enough to get out of here. So go through here. You could rest here if you needed to. We're just gonna drop down to the west and then we're gonna look southwest and head into this tunnel. And then we're gonna be ready for some rats. Oh, missed him. And once we have done that, 
Ah, we're nearly at the mist section, but I think there's some more rats up here first. There he is. All right, good, good, good. What's that noise? Uh, rats, get some loot. There'll be some loot before we have to worry about the mist. Okay, good. Oh, you see in my notes? Oh, wait. Normally I get him from down there. I was like, why is he there? All right, he was not in my notes. Looks feel like I can jump across there, but we're gonna go around. Oh yeah, we don't need to jump across. Fill up my FP, get my mist ready. I'm just gonna grab the crystal cave moss. All right, this is where we're gonna run in. You'll see him from here. We're gonna unleash mist, uh, mist on all them, but we wanna wake them up as well. Because I, in a practice run, I put some mist in there and it didn't actually work on them while they were all asleep. So we're going to run right in the middle of them, sort of run around like that to wake them up. And then we'll put some mist on them as we come out back to where we are right now. And if we need to, we'll use some pebble on them from here. Or you could just pebble them from here. I just find the mist to be more fun. Whatever you do, don't roll out. There we go. And mist. And then run out. You can roll once you're not in the poison anymore. Get your pebble ready. Look at that, we're getting kills. I think one of them got out of the mist already though. So we'll just pebble him. Ooh, two of them. Ah, uh, miss me. Couple of them. Ow! All right, and then what we're gonna, oh, I'm poisoned. Well, good thing we brought poison cure with us. All right. Uh, then what we're going to do is swap over to Magic Glint Blade, and we're going to use Magic Glint Blade on this guy. Until he's dead. Don't worry, we'll have plenty of FP. Alright, how many have we got? One more. I'll stop with your poison. All right, guys. And I forgot to mention, in here is exactly what we came to this cave for. And that is this right here. The mushroom head, mushroom body, mushroom arms, and mushroom legs. So the mushroom set. There's a few other things in here we'll pick up and I'll quickly get out of the poison. Get all the mushroom gear and that, if we have a look at it, for example, let's look at the mushroom body and it has 102 immunity. If you want to know what immunity does, you could go to the help screen, go to explanation, go across to, hang on, where am I? Oh, across to immunity, the resistance your armor offers to various poisons and rot specifically rot, which is what we're going to be facing a lot of when we go back to the Lake of Rot. So we'll put all that on later, even though we're in a poison area right now. We don't need it right now. All right, and we can head back now. We're going to go all the way back the way we came. Um, back down there. Uh, we can just drop down if we want to. And then we need to head... Hang on, let me get my bearings. We need to head north I believe is it this way I don't think it is this way I went back too far guys give me a sec go back I'm gonna get poisoned here if I'm not quick here Did I go back too far? Ah, oh, I went back too far, guys. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to take one of these. And we're going to head west and then north. So west. Drop down here. Then head north. My bad. All right. No loot in here for some reason. But what we want to do is drop into this giant hole. And just make sure you're looking where you can drop down. And when we get to the bottom, we're going to find more rats. Right here. 
Oh, not the bottom. I shouldn't have said the bottom. Um, you want to drop to here. Find those rats. Get the poison bone darts if you need them or if you want them. Or I guess why wouldn't you pick them up anyway? And then when we drop, we're going to go northwest for a rat and some loot. Okay. Oh, yeah. I remember. So I'm, I'm feeling a bit... Oh, whoops. I thought I had pebble ready, guys. Feeling a bit rusty on this today. I don't know why. I didn't get the best sleep last night. Maybe that's why. But um, there we go. Get the rat. Get the loot. Go back the other way. And... Oh, oh, it's boss fight time. Okay. So, 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 so. We can... Uh, there shouldn't be any other enemies. And we'll head to the boss door. And then we'll talk about strategy. Okay, here it is. All right. This is really cool, actually, guys. So what we're going to do here is... Well, obviously, we're going to take our Physic before we enter. Actually, we're going to fill our FP before we enter. We're going to take our Physic, and then we're going to unleash... We're going to go in, pardon me, and unleash Oleg. And then we are going to block. There's going to be a lot of... Oh, not a lot. Two. Uh, I think they're called Kindred of Rot. They're the um, roaches, I call them. They look like walking cockroaches, and they spit that weird like spiderweb type stuff at you we're just going to block most of it and let oleg go to work uh and we will pick the one that oleg doesn't fight and we'll fight him a little bit uh using our nebula mostly uh but oleg when i've done practice runs has almost beat well beat one of them all by himself and then even came and helped me on the other one like oleg is op here so i can't wait to do this let's take our physic and head on in and unleash Oleg. Straight away, unleash Oleg and then block. So that if any of their uh, projectiles are coming our way. Alright, so Oleg is heading for that one. Which, for some reason, I didn't block. Alright, I'm going to Nebula. I did a guard counter, then Nebula. And I finished him off pretty quick. That was uh, quicker than anything else. And let's just, let's just watch Oleg. Look at him, he's nearly won the fight already. Go, my boy, Oleg, you got him. I'm not gonna help you. You've got this. One more hit, mate. Yeah, good boy. Oleg, you legend. And we get the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation uh, Talisman. And that was pretty cool, if you ask me. There's no loot in here. We are teleporting our way out of here. Let's go. After that teleport, I'm just going to quickly get a um, sneak attack on this guy. Just just cause. Oh, maybe I'm not. Well, I'll take him out anyway. And we are fast traveling back to the Lake of Rot, guys. So, click the right thumbstick to get to the underground map and go to the Lake of Rot shoreside. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, here we are at the Lake of Rock, guys. Uh, just make sure you've got at least seven FP flasks. Uh, that's probably going to be important here. And we need to rest here so that we can equip the uh, Rot Cure spell. The um, show you which one I'm talking about. We are going to be... Flame Cleanse Me. Now, you do need 12 Faith. Again, if you don't have an active Rune Arc and you don't have enough Faith... Just change your, whatchamacallsit, uh, talismans. Oh, I need to change this one anyway. We're not using that anymore. Uh, which one do I want there? Uh, I usually have this one. Maybe that was affecting some of the stuff I was doing versus practice. I had the, this is the setup I had in practice runs. Oh, well, we still beat that boss bloody easy, didn't we? Uh, and we need to equip our claw mark seal again. At least I remember the name. Uh, so that we can use that spell. And we want, instead of neutralizing boluses, we want preserving boluses. And I'm going to craft a couple more of those if I can. Crystal Cave Moss. We got some of that in the cave we were just in. So another reason for going there. Uh, how many do I already have? I forgot to check. I've got 10 now, so that's perfect. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. All right. I just need to rest so I can save the game. I'll probably do an edit here, but uh, I'm just going to pass the time until morning.
Alrighty, we don't have enough to level up before we do this. We're pretty safe. Well, no, no, that's that's a lie. Uh, oh, 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 that's what I nearly forgot to do. I forgot to do it before I saved. We need to put on our new armor. Well, not new armor. We need our mushroom armor on. So, mushroom head. Mushroom body. Uh, mushroom hair, or whatever you call this. Arms. And mushroom legs. I should have showed what our immunity was before we did that. But, our immunity now is, what, 416 slash 213. Uh, sorry, slash 243, not 13. So, I couldn't read for a second then. Uh, we could also take that back off and pop on our immunizing horn charm. That r raises our immunity from, what is it, 416 up to 506. So, that's pretty good as well. And I think the main number that we actually need to worry about is the... Um, so, the 506, I believe, is our resistance to... The rot, the 243 affects how much damage negation we have when we actually get rot inflicted, I think. But I could be wrong. If you have a better idea, let me know in the comments. I don't think we have anything else that will help us with rot. I just want to check that my equipment load is still medium. Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah, because the mushroom arm is pretty... Oh, no. You can almost see my face. Quick, I'll turn around. Um, all right. That looks pretty good. Let's get on with things. We want to go to the northeast. So the plan for the rest of the video, guys, is to explore the Lake of Rot, grab all of the loot, and also defeat a boss here in the Rot. So that's the plan for the video. Even though we're already, what, probably half an hour into the video or something. I haven't actually checked. Uh, let's go down... There, we're going to drop into the rot and run to where that loot is. Just sort of where, where the top of my head is there. And we'll be able to rest there. But once our rot meter fills more than two thirds, we are going to cast Flame Cleanse Me. So have that ready. You also want to be able to quickly swap back to Pebble for when we need to fight some enemies that we're going to come across in the rot. So you need to have both of those sort of spells ready to go. I could make it a lot easier by uh, unequipping a lot of these spells, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to, but that is definitely an option. All right, so flame cleanse me ready and run to this loot. Or drop and then run. And we don't need to use the spell. I should have explained that, that you should be able to make it to this loot without using the spell. Now you've got two options once you're here. You can wait for the rot to subside or you could use the spell. Actually, you've got three options because you could use a bolus as well. Uh, but what we want to do once we're here is run southeast. I'm going to use a spell. And then again, if we get past two thirds, we're going to use that spell again as we run to the southeast. But we're going to be ready for lizard. So what we're going to do is run. Even if we see enemies, we're just going to run straight past them until we are out of the rot. Then we'll uh, turn, switch over to our pebble and our staff and take out the lizard. It's those uh, lizard type enemies, the, or the enemies that I call lizards. So let's do it. Run southeast. Gets to about two thirds. Use the spell. Continue to run southeast. Use the spell again. You see there, we're not taking much damage from it. And again. And we're going to get to these um, this area here. Oh, I nearly forgot to use the spell. Jump up here and then get your pebble ready. And turn around and hit some pebble. Oh, one more. Oh, where did you come from, you little bugger? Oh, fill up my FP. Ah, uh, missed me. Excellent. All right, take care of the lizards. Get a free refill and grab a Somber Smithing Stone 7. Jeez, we spent so much of the game needing a Somber Smithing Stone 7. Now we've probably got more than one, don't we? Do we? Uh, we have got three now. Three spare ones. It's crazy. 
Because our, um, we did level this up. No, that's only it. Oh, we're going back to the round table hold soon to level up. Or have we not done that yet? Anyway, it's all fine. It's all fine. We're okay. We're okay. We don't need it. We don't need it right now. Uh, now we're going to go from here. Same plan. So get flame, cleanse me, make sure your FP is full if you haven't already filled it. And we're going to run south to where those sort of the pillar and the little bits of ruins are. We're going to have to jump on them and then get our pebble ready again and take out some more of those lizard enemies. Let's go. All right, so use the spell. Spell. Almost there. Will we need the spell one more time? No, we won't. Run past the lizard. Swap over. And take out the lizards. Ah, ah, ah. Uh oh. He's not meant to come up yet. Alright. Uh, I'm okay. I didn't get too much death yet. Yet. Alright. Make sure my death doesn't go too high. Uh oh. Alright. And fill that up. That was actually a bit, uh, a bit risky, that one. Anyway. We made it. Hopefully you did too. And grab a golden rune level 9. Uh, next, next, next. Oh, okay. So, if you look, well, don't worry about that big guy out there. That's, that's for later. But if you look to the west, you'll see, should be able to lock onto him. It's not letting me lock on. Um, normally I can lock onto him. Maybe I need the correct spell equipped. Oh, there we go. He's coming closer. And, uh... Hang on, I need to check who it was in the comments. Give me two seconds. I'm going to check this. I want to give the right person some credit here. Uh, go to my comments. So lock on to him. Hang on. I want to do, do, do... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. Surely it wasn't that long ago. Um, come on. Um, oh, I can't find it, guys. Ah, there, Tyler. Tyler let me know that he says you can charge Loretta's Great Bow. So let's try that. I've not tried it. Oh, I've not locked off now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, here we go. But Tyler, thank you. And let's try it. I'm charging it. I'm charging it. Ah! Did a little bit more damage, I guess. And we're going to hit him with it twice. Down he goes. And we're going to run out there and grab the talisman that he drops, guys. And we're going to run back to here. But we're going to have our spell ready just in case we need it. And we get too much rot on the way there and coming back. <clears throat> I'm going to use the spell just before we pick up the talisman. And use the spell on the way back. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, I can. Alright, we got the talisman and we're going to actually swap it for our immunizing horn charm because it is an immunizing horn charm plus one. I don't think you can wear both, can you? No, you can't. So we're done. We are right. Okay, so we've got the talisman. We are going to go south next. <clears throat> Pardon me. Still suffering from that flu, believe it or not. Alright, so I'm going to use the spell before I head off. Make sure you've got enough FP and you've got the spell. Cleanse me ready. And you run to the south where this pillar is. And when we get there... Oh, I wasn't watching my rot. Sorry, guys. Uh, there we go. I was reading my notes. Uh, we jump on this button. And we wait and see what happens. Okay. And you see there, we've got... I want to run to the south. So there's the boss, but believe it or not, guys. I was going to just avoid talking about him. But we're going to come back for him. Uh, he's asleep at the moment. We're going to head to that little tiny island there to the south. 
Just keep an eye on your rod again. Jump up on here and then southeast to the next island. And up we go. And now I'm going to get out the uh, Loretta's Great Bow again. And we're going to use it on... We've got these three lizards and one over... Let's see if I can get a sight on him in there as well. Let's get this one first, actually. Let's use Loretta's Great Bow on him. I'm going to charge it again. It looks like it uses... Maybe it uses more FP. Oh, there's a whole heap in there. I did not know that. All right, got rid of him. I did not know there was more in there. That's not in my notes. All right, get him. See if I can get him with a pebble. Yes. It's a bit easier than the... Uh... But great boat. All right. I don't think I've ever actually been in there. I'm going to go in there. This is off script. I don't know why I never went in there. I don't know if I've been in there or not. Uh, if I have, I can't remember it, which which is, of course, possible. Hey, none of that. Rude. I <laughs> got them all, I think. Don't stand in the death. Don't stand in the death. All right, if... I just want to see if I can see that it's clear. I'm thinking the coast is clear. We're going to run in there and just check what's in there. I'm going to get the rot spell ready first before I go gallivanting in there. Check the corners. Well, I'm glad I came in here. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'll save you the trip. There's nothing in here by the look of it, unless I missed something. But anyway, let's get back on script. These are the guys I was meant to be taking out. Uh, let's get the Great Bow again. I don't think we'll reach them from here with Pebble. Let's get this guy. Just a normal Great Bow. I don't think I need to charge it. And then swap to Pebble as he comes over. Oh, I missed him. And back to Great Bow. Oops. I pressed the wrong button. Ah! Go to Pebble! Hey, what's that guy doing? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Run out of FP. <laughs> this is very messy. Ah! There we go. I'm okay, I'm okay. Very rusty today. Okay, we did it, we did it. Um, so we took out all of them... And once we go over there, on that tower there, we're going to get a... What is that up there? A Somba 8. All right, let's go get it. Should have had my um, Cleanse Me spell ready to go, but it's not a... It's not far. Oh, yeah, to get this, you just got to get on the side here. Oh, no. Did not mean to jump back in. You want to get on the side pillar here and then go up. There we go. Somba number eight. Uh, and now we're going to get... Ah, oh, yes. We're going up there and up into... Ah, oh, that place that we were just in. There is a bit of loot in there, but we're going to get it from the top. All right, so we're going up there. Just going to have the uh, cleanse me spell ready just in case. Grab this flower as I run past. I'm not going to bother getting too much. All right, up here... Oh, watch out, you don't get stuck in there. Jump across here. Jump across again. Up onto here, and then up to here. Ah! In my notes it says, kill... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, from here is when I kill those um, lizards down below. Free kill. And we just picked up the... Uh, Mushroom Crown, I believe it's called, and it has even better immunity. So we're going to pop that on, and it still sort of matches what we're wearing. All right. And from here, guys, we're actually going to fast travel, because we've sort of uh, 
We've come down this side of the lake and we've taken care of a lot of the loot and stuff. We're going to go back to the side of Grace and then explore the other side and get some more goodies. Let's go. Okay, and once we are back at Lake Rot, uh, what was I going to do? Okay, we're going to go oh yeah, down to the south. Uh, we've still got our Cleanse Me spell ready to go. Down to the south. Oh yeah, and then if we look over to the right where that pillar is, is another one of those buttons we want to press. And I'm just checking my note to make sure... Okay, the lizards are going to come, but that's after we push the button, I think. Alright, let's... Oh, and this is where we got the map right here. Okay, off we go. Alright. Pop the button, uh, get your pebble ready. And when we try and go get that loot just there, we're probably gonna run into some of the lizards from memory. I'm ready, I'm ready for them. I'm ready, are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, they didn't, they didn't spawn yet. Where are they? What do my notes say? Uh, blah, 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 blah. It says to go west to the next lot of loot. Oh, maybe they're over here. Where are the lizards? Ah, you cheeky bugger. Where'd you come from? All right, any more? Ah, there's two of them. Let's just use a, uh, try to get him. Hang on. There we go. You're dealt with. Okay. Oh, what did you give up? A butterfly. whoop de doo eh? Uh, and then we want to go and get that loot off to the west. And then as soon as we've got it, we're going to go northwest to a somber seven again. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, so run to the loot, grab that, have your spell ready, your cleanse me spell. Let's go. Oh, there's another lizard has jumped in behind me. We're not gonna b worry about him. Oh, spell. Just as I got right too. And then Northwest, once you've picked up the loot, just some bolts. Jump on up and grab the Somber 7. Another one. All right, now we have a really long run to take to that, where that pillar is there, to the southeast. So have your spell ready again. Make sure you've got enough FP before you leave. And just use the spell as required. And once we get where this pillar is, we're going to hit another button. Jeepers, I'm a bit slow on that. Alright, hit the button. Alright, we're going to go across to the east. Should be able to get there without needing the spell, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, oh my god, I did not mean to roll just then. I was trying to pick up that flower. Uh, that's kind of stuffed me up a bit, hasn't it? Uh, let's just use that and then run across. Okay, and then here we are going to get this loot and jump to that island, but then there's going to be a lizard. So we'll have to swap back to Pebble, or we could, if it's close enough, we'll use our sword. That's the plan. Uh, my... Um, rot is still going up because I rolled in the damn stuff. So let's uh, cleanse that, run, grab the loot, and then run past him, swap to pebble, or not. Oh, I nearly died. That death stuff is a real killer. <laughs> death is a real killer. Pun intended. Oh, hang on. They were not meant to come out. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I would have normally done with these guys in just a second. After I take them out, I guess. Uh-oh, I'm going to get dead. 
Uh oh, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of it. Oh boy, I've run out of FP. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is bad. Oh boy, now I've got rot. Can you just die, please? And I will uh, jump back on here. I'm going to use a bolus because it's quicker. All right, then I'm going to heal. Oh, I'm just uh, all over the shop today, guys. All right, I'm going to have a I'm going to have a bit of a rest after I record this, so that uh, we're all good for the next video. Um, because I was planning on recording two videos today. Uh, all right. Now, oh yeah, that's what I normally those guys don't come out until what I, what I would have done is I would have jumped off here, been like ha, and when we get to about here, they would jump in and I'd just run back, turn around, and use pebble on them, guys. That was the original plan, uh, but obviously that didn't work. We are going to go to the southeast now that we are ready. Get cleanse me ready again. I'm going to use it once here. And then get to this next island at the, on the southeast. We're again still avoiding the boss, which is over there. We'll get to him later. Oh, I mean, technically we could get to him now. No, we're going to do round table hold for upgrades before we do that. Uh, from this island, we are going to the south. And there's another button right there. Should make it without needing my spell. Hit the button. That's right, this is the bit where I forgot to put the next step in my notes. Uh, now we need to go and find our way up the elevator, which I've got to remember. I think it's just somewhere over there. Is it? No, it's over there. All right, so from here, we're running further south, sort of southwest almost, to that pillar there. Uh, I've got my spell ready, got enough FP. Let's do it. I think this is the right way. Yeah, something happened to my notes for this little section, but I think I remember. Get there, get there, get there. Alright, we're going to make it here. Alright, jumping up on here and hitting the button will take us up. On our way up, we're swapping over to our... Um, whatchamacallit? Actually, we've got the wrong sword. I want to grab, instead of this, I want... The Bloodhound's Fang. We're going to use Scott. Oops, wrong button. Scholar's Armament on our Bloodhound's Fang. And let me double check. We're also going to use our Physic. And then we've got a big bad dude to fight. So, Scholar's Armament. Hold it in two hands. Uh, fill up our FP. Take our Physic. And what we're going to do, well, as we run across here, one of those big, I think it's called an Alabaster, is going to appear. We're going to dodge, then use our left trigger, right trigger combo, guys. So we're going to try and dodge one of his attacks, then left trigger, right trigger on him. See how we go. Should take him down pretty easy. So dodge forward. Oh, he used a bloody thing on me anyway. Dodge, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, and, well, anything, anything after that. Take him down. He always drops the Alabaster's Lord's Sword, as far as I'm aware. And then if we head around to the right or to the east, this is always here as well. And this oh, this is why we haven't gone and upgraded our Wing of Astal yet. I was waiting to get the Somber 9. I think that'll be our first one. Let me check. Well, not our first ever, but our only one that we've got for now. Yeah, okay, that's why we didn't go yet. And that is in my notes. I just didn't read ahead. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We did that, we did that, we did that. Okay, now once we've done that, we head all the way back to the south, past where we came up. Can put the sword away. Get the Wing of Astal back. Um, oh, we're going to need pebble. Get your pebble ready. Still got our part of our, uh, whatchamacallit, active, the um, Wondrous Physic. Down the ladder here. 
And as you head towards the right, you're going to see... Right there, a uh, dung beetle boar. We need to kill it as quickly as we can without it getting away. There we go. And that will give us a Somba 6. Uh, we're going to go back up here. We're going to drop down in here. So we're going to get our Cleanse Me spell ready yet again. And once we drop down near this ladder, we're going to work our way to the west. And we're going to find another Grace very soon. So drop down here. You don't need to hit that edge on the way down. Uh, use a spell as needed. Oh, I didn't know these butterflies were here. Let's grab them. And there we go. We are going to be safe for now. And we're going to head to the left down here, down to the south. Go down these stairs down here and find a new side of grace. And now that we've got this side of grace, we can fast travel, guys. Do I want three and... No. No, that's fine the way it is. Um, sorry, I was just reading something in my notes. We're fast traveling to the round table hold. Let's go. And here, I think all I need to do here is upgrade some weapons. Specifically, the wing of Estelle. So, speak to the smithy dude. Uh, okay, what are we doing? We are upgrading wing of Estelle. To, what, plus 8, to plus 9. And we can't get it to plus 10 yet. So, hang on, what did we use then? Just the 8 and the 9, did we? I wasn't even, I didn't even pay attention. I don't need to upgrade that. Uh, can't upgrade that. We've got no smithing stone sixes. Uh, we don't have enough smithing stone fours. Let me just check the Uchi Katana. We can upgrade that because we've got smithing stone five. None of, we don't need that for anything else. Yeah, all right. We're not saving our smithing stone fives for anything else, and I'd rather upgrade the Uchi Katana than the uh, Morning Star. So let's do that. Oh, we would have had enough to level up too. We might. We will definitely level up. Actually, what's what are these? Wait, what does the Uchi Katana need? It needs six smithing stone fives. So I'm not going to use them on the Morning Star just yet. All right, good to know. Okay, from here, we are just going to fast travel straight back to the Lake of Rot, but not the Lake of Rot Shoreside, hang on, to the new one, the Grand Cloister, the uh, uh, side of grace that we just got. Let's go. Okay, back at the Grand Cloister. For now, obviously the way to continue our exploration is down there, but we haven't taken care of the boss back up here and a couple other things up here as well. So we're going to head back on up. Uh, we are going to sort of cross this river once we're up the top. Cross to here. Grab this loot here. More preserving boluses, that's handy. And if you look at that structure off to the northwest, we need to go in there. Have your spell ready. Use it when needed. And find a chest in the back. Should be a cookbook in here. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number 22. What does that have? Which one is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, 22 we said, didn't we? There it is. Rot pot, rot grease, drawstring, rot grease. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, all right, now we're going to go do the boss fight, guys. Okay. First step is to get there. So we just head east from here. 
We're going to be running across a lot of this rot again, so have your cleanse me spell ready. But he'll be off here to the east from where we are now. We've got all the loot that I want to get here um, at the lake. This side of the um, Grand Cloister spot anyway. So keep going east. I'm just sort of looking for him. can't remember exactly where he is out here. I'll know when I see it. Yeah, there he is. There he is. I can see him in the background. We're just going to get close enough that we're off the rot. And then we'll... Oh, Jesus. Did I not use that quick enough? Anyway, we'll be fine. Keep going. Alright, you'll see there that the uh, little symbol came up. That means we can summon Oleg. We're going to do that in a second. I don't think this will be too close to him. I've practiced this, haven't I? Alright. Uh, I'm going to use this spell one more time just in case. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to summon Oleg. Oh, which means I need to fill up my FP first. Summon Oleg, then we're going to use our Physic, and we're going to make sure we're ready to go with Rock Sling. And we're just going to Rock Sling this guy until he's dead, basically. Um, he may get too close and hit it. He can one-shot us. Uh, probably not while we've got our Physic active, though. But he is dangerous, guys. So we're going to use Oleg. Then our Physic. And fill up our FP before we start shooting him so that we can get a full round in. And as, as we get closer, we'll be able to lock onto him and just rock sling him. Oh, I forgot to mention we purposely start behind him because he's got to turn around. Doesn't always turn as fast as he did just then. And there he goes um, down. While he's down, I'm going to fill up my FP even though it wasn't quite empty. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I was meant to roll then, guys. My bad. Hopefully we can stagger him again. Ow. I wasn't ready. And there we go. He's dead. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. I was meant to roll both of those attacks, but didn't quite make it. Luckily, that's why we've got Oleg. He finished him off for us before we got finished off. That was very lucky, but we got it. Got the job done. Hopefully you guys did too. Uh, that was a bit messy. Uh, I guess the other option, I probably could have started at a different one of these islands. But anyway, we got the job done. I need to do a cleanse me spell and there should be three lots of loot. One here. Uh, what's this one? One there, golden rune 10. So that one's good. I think from memory this one's good too. Go on rune seven, that'll do. Alright. As long as we've got the three loots, we beat the boss. Uh, we are gonna fast travel back to the Grand Cloister. Let's go. And there we are, guys. I'm gonna uh, just rest at this side of Grace, and that's where we're gonna end the video. In the next video, guys, we are doing some more dragon cheese in the next video. That's right, we're taking out a, another dragon. We're also fighting an ulcerated tree spirit. Uh, we're also fighting Astel, the natural born of the void, another big boss. So really, we've got three bosses in the next video. I can't wait. Uh, we are also finishing off a lot of the Rani side quest stuff. So really cool video coming up, guys. Can't wait. More on that probably tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, I don't know. But uh, there's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed, and don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Appreciate it.